It's taken talent and a lot of perspiration to land Sunet a personal record throw of 69.35 meters and a number two world ranking. So when did you know you were destined to be a champion? I think from a, from a little age I know I was going to be a great champion. Every sport that I did, I got provincial colors, um, I represented my country in most of the sports that I participated in and then I had to make the decision between athletics and um, netball at the end of the day. So there's a lot of, lot of sports that I can do. I have a lot of hand-eye coordination. So take us through your daily routine at the gym. We do a lot of lifting in the gym, which is clean and jerks, and um, some, some, some snatches and squats. But luckily, I'm fast as well, so I think that's my big secret. Ugh, this is easy enough, hey? Just a basic bicep curl. Am I right? No, 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 no. I'll show you a few javelin exercises okay. uh, that you can probably try out. The one that you can do is the snatch. It's basically just a quick lift from the hips straight up. Okay, wait, hold on. I'll just stand back there in case I fall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, hey, super. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So how was London? Well, Simba, I think at the end of the day, it was such an overall great experience. Qualifying with my first throw of 65.92. Nice. And to finish off fourth was really, really pleasing. I wanted to win an Olympic medal, but just that fourth place has given me such a lot of pride and um, a lot of great sport back home. And um, even the build-up before London was absolutely amazing. The build-up, everyone knew we were in London. The country was behind us. Um, the support that we got back home, everyone that was watching the Olympics. And uh, even when we got back, I think just to be called an Olympian is just an absolutely amazing feeling. I think that really is. I mean, even though you didn't win and get a medal, mm -hmm. I mean, you still hold so many different records. How many records do you have? Well, I have, I'm currently the African in the, the South African and the Commonwealth record holder with 69.35, um, which I was throwing in the beginning of June this year. That gave me world number one. And I finished off my athletic season with world number two with that distance, which I'm very, very proud about. <sighs> No, what actually keeps you inspired, it? Most importantly, my family and one of my biggest fans. While talking about my biggest fans, I think I need to go. Bye, Samba. No, but wait, we still need to train. Come, where are you going? To meet seven-year-old Henry, of course, who needs sustenance if he's to carry on wearing all mom's silver and gold. Okay, I get it now. This is your biggest fan, right? Yeah, my little man, Henry, is my biggest fan and he will always be. As he can show you with all the medals that I won. <laughs> Are you proud of your mommy? Very proud. It's quite a collection he has there. Well, this is the biggest one. This is the World Championships medal of last year that I won in Daegu. This one is the Commonwealth Games of 2006 when I won bronze. And two of the golds, this is the title that I defended. And two of the other golds is the, is the World Student Games Championships. So I'm the two times World Student Games champion as well. What sport is he into? He's a very, very good cricketer. I think he's got a lot of my sports genes, which I'm very proud about. You know, you just gave me an idea. Mm. I've got the perfect person he must meet. Are you ready? Let's go meet him. Let's go. <laughs> With a career best of 6 for 23 against Pakistan, Fina Hafani knows a thing or two. Hello, my boy. <laughs> How are you doing? Here's a cricket bat to the ball. Look at you, mate. Yeah. He's off. Sambas, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Hello, buddy. I'm proud of what you've done, huh? Thank you very much. I need to go and sort that boy out. I think so too. Okay. <laughs> well, not only are you great at javelin, but cricket as well, hey? Hey, thanks, Samba. Yes, I played for South Africa. Yeah? Uh, I was a national women's cricket player when I was 16 years of age. I just have very, very good memories, and uh, I hope my little one can carry on. That's much better, my boy. Hey, how's he doing? He's doing quite well. He's got his mum's talent. I'll okay. tell you. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, let's see if the boys can do some catching. All right, okay, let's go. Yeah, bring it on. So, Fanya, how do you guys actually know each other? She was about 13, 14 years old when her mum and dad introduced me to her. She was a good cricket player and, and also uh, a good javelin throw in those days, or great javelin throw for that matter. And uh, we met then. Hendra is seven years old. He's still got a long way. But what is it going to take for him to be the next pro tier? Well, firstly, to be like his mum, you know, to be focused and, and, and to have a passion. You know, when passions become missions, yeah. you're willing to train extra. When people are having a drink and having a bri, that's when you train. Yeah. So if mum can install those principles into him, he's got a chance. Failing which, he can always join Simba at the circus. <laughs> <laughs> I was obviously better with track, not the greatest with field. How about you show me some javelin? Okay, let's go. 
This doesn't look that bad. It's like big dots. <laughs> yeah, they are like little sticks that you can throw, <laughs> but um, it's, it's in the technique. That's why I'm going to show you now a few tips. Basically, you're going to pick up the javelin okay. and then your thumb is going to be in your, four, your fourth finger on that grip. And basically the javelin is just going to lie in the, in the palm of your hands. Yes. Okay. And then the most important thing of the javelin throw is your arm always have to be straight. Okay. Your arm must be straight. And this arm, as you start to throw, you open up. Okay. And your, your feet, feet is coming across, like you do the cross over step. Just one, one two, and you throw, you two. open up here, and the javelin goes over your head. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's literally a, a flick of the yeah, hand. Yeah, basically when, when the javelin is flicking, it's, it's leaving your hand, you, you flick the javelin. Okay, so it's not like you're trying to spin it or anything like that? Mm -mm, not at all. It's like you're throwing a ball, it's just you throw a long stick now. I think I'm ready. Yes. Hey, Shama, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, funny, eh? <laughs> That's not bad. Shama, come and have a look. Wasn't that bad though, hey? Just have a look. Okay, let's see how she does it. <laughs> just she threw the other property. Or was it a bird? No, it's not a plane either, believe me. <laughs> it's just Sunet's javelin breaking records every day. 